did you hear that did you hear the crunchiness of the chips that's what we are making guys plantain chips before we get started let me welcome you all to my channel this is your passionate food lover and you're most welcome please do well to like comment and subscribe to my channel so for this we're going to need some plantain right? some fresh plantain wash it and then start peeling i just going ahead with my knife to peel off the skin or the back of the plantain and then to have or to review the food so i'm not gonna bore you with the process of peeling the plantain so i'm just gonna you know speed it up but you guys it's been so long i just wanted to use this opportunity to say thank you all for subscribing to my channel you guys are the real mvps god bless you if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button thank you <laughs> so after peeling this is what i have freshly peeled plantain they look so gorgeous from the side so right now all i'm going to do is to start slicing it and i'm just going to use this tool right here i don't know how it's called or what it's called but it's just the tool that is used to slice plantain it's quick and it's easy but if you don't have this tool you can also use a knife but make sure that you are slicing it ever so thinly because you don't want a chunky plantain chip it's not nice to have a chunky chip that one day into no make sure so you cut it slicely oh what's slicely thinly <laughs> slicing your plantain make sure that your oil is in the pan and it's on fire because you want to have your oil really really heated up like to the max because if your oil is not hot your plantain is going to soak up the oil which will make it chunky and not crispy or crunchy we are looking to have a crunchy plantain chip i know that probably some of you are wondering she's not as salty eating she's just frying it like that i will explain that in a second but that's how it goes look at that perfectly fried plantain chips I mean at this point you can even start enjoying it but let me go ahead and answer the question about the salt now if you add your salt to the plantain before frying it it actually makes it soggy like it soaks up oil but if you add it after frying it then it keeps it fresh and crispy and crunchy which can actually last for like a month and over so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just adding salt to it so it says if you like more salt you can you know be moderately adding salt to it but guys that's it we are done frying our plantain chips we are done making our plantain chips <laughs> this is one of the simplest snack that you can ever make like it's easy it's quick and you can make this for your children at home a quick easy snack so now it's time for me to enjoy what i'm enjoying i hope you guys can make this and then tag me in it if you do let's get interactive on social media also send me a dm send me a message let's get interactive i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next video bye